Question 1. Which of the following is not a type of distraction while driving? A. Cognitive distraction. B. Manual distraction. C. Auditory distraction. Answer. C. Auditory distraction. While sounds can be distracting, the primary types of distractions are visual, manual, and cognitive. A and B. Question 2. If you are driving a commercial vehicle and are convicted of a DUI, you will lose your CDL for A. 6 months B. 1 year C. 3 years Answer. B. 1 year a DUI conviction will result in the loss of your CDL for at least one year. Question 3. When is it safe to remove your seatbelt while driving? A. When driving at low speeds. B. When reversing your vehicle. C. It is never safe. Answer. C. It is never safe. Always wear your seatbelt when the vehicle is in motion. Question 4. What is the most common mistake made by drivers during an emergency? A. Overreacting. B. Not using signals. C. Braking too hard. Answer. A. Overreacting. In emergencies, drivers often overreact, which can lead to loss of control. Question 5. When should you check your mirrors? A. Only when changing lanes. B. Every 2 to 5 seconds. C. Every 5 to 8 seconds. Answer. C. Every 5 to 8 seconds. Regularly checking mirrors helps maintain awareness of your surroundings. Question 6. What is the main reason for doing a vehicle inspection? A. To avoid fines. B. To ensure the vehicle is safe to drive. C. To save time later. Answer. B to ensure the vehicle is safe to drive. Regular inspections help identify issues before they become hazards. Question 7. What does communicating in safe driving mean? A. Talking on the phone. B. Using your horn, signals, and lights. C. Listening to the radio. Answer. B. Using your horn, signals, and lights. Communicating involves letting others know your intentions. Question 8. In Florida, what BAC, blood alcohol concentration, is considered legally intoxicated for commercial drivers? A. 0.08% B. 0.04% C. 0.02% Answer. B. 0.04% Commercial drivers are held to stricter standards than non-commercial drivers. Question 9. When should you signal before making a turn? A. At least 50 feet before the turn. B. At least 100 feet before the turn. C. At least 200 feet before the turn. Answer. B. At least 100 feet before the turn. This gives other drivers ample warning of your intentions. Question 10. If you are driving slower than other traffic on a multi-lane road, you should use A. The middle lane B. The left lane C. The right lane Answer. C. The right lane. Slower traffic should always stay to the right. Question 11. What is the best way to stop if your vehicle has ABS, anti-lock braking system? A. Pump the brakes B. Apply steady pressure to the brakes. C. Brake hard and release. Answer. B. Apply steady pressure to the brakes. ABS prevents wheel lockup, so you don't need to pump the brakes. Question 12. When is it necessary to downshift? A. When going uphill. B. When going downhill. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. Downshifting can provide more power uphill and better control downhill. Question 13. What is the main color for warning signs indicating potential hazards? A. Red. B. Green. C. Yellow. 
Answer, C, yellow. Warning signs are typically yellow with black lettering or symbols. Question 14, if you are feeling tired while driving, you should. A, drink coffee. B, turn up the radio. C, pull over and rest. Answer, C, pull over and rest. If you're tired, the safest option is to get off the road and rest. Question 15. When is road ice most slippery? A. At 32 degrees Fahrenheit. B. Below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. C. Just as it begins to melt. Answer. C. Just as it begins to melt. Ice is most slippery when it's starting to melt but is still frozen. Question 16. What should you do if a tire blows out while driving? A. Brake immediately. B. Steer straight and slow down gradually. C. Accelerate to regain control. Answer. B. Steer straight and slow down gradually. Avoid sudden maneuvers which can cause a loss of control. Question 17. What is the primary purpose of cargo securement? A. To prevent cargo from shifting or falling. B. To balance the weight of the vehicle. C. To make unloading easier. Answer. A. To prevent cargo from shifting or falling. Proper securement ensures safety on the road. Question 18. What does a solid yellow line on your side of the road indicate? A. Passing is allowed. B. Passing is prohibited. C. The presence of a school zone. Answer. B. Passing is prohibited. A solid yellow line means no passing from your side. Question 19. In Florida, if you refuse a bake C test, you will lose your CDL for A. 6 months B. 1 year C. 2 years Answer. B. 1 year Refusing a BAC test results in an automatic one-year disqualification of your CDL. Question 20. What is the most important reason to inspect your vehicle? A. To avoid getting fined. B. To ensure it looks good. C. Safety. Answer. C. Safety. Regular inspections can identify potential issues before they become dangerous. Question 21. What is the minimum following distance in ideal conditions? A. 1 second for every 10 feet of vehicle length. B. 2 seconds for every 10 feet of vehicle length. C. 3 seconds for every 10 feet of vehicle length. Answer. A. 1 second for every 10 feet of vehicle length. For a typical tractor trailer, this means at least 4 seconds. Question 22. What is hydroplaning? A skidding on wet roads. B. The tires lose contact with the road and ride on a film of water. C. Braking too hard on a wet surface. Answer. B. The tires lose contact with the road and ride on a film of water. Hydroplaning can occur at speeds as low as 30 miles per hour. Question 23. What should you do if you encounter aggressive drivers? A. Challenge them. B. Avoid eye contact and give them plenty of space. C. Follow them to report them. Answer. B. Avoid eye contact and give them plenty of space. It's best to avoid escalating the situation. Question 24. What is the main reason for covering cargo? A. To protect it from weather. B. To prevent it from blowing onto the road. C. To hide what you are carrying. Answer. B. To prevent it from blowing onto the road, unsecured or loose cargo can be a hazard. Question 25. What is the best way to deal with tailgaters? A. Speed up. B. Break suddenly. C. Increase your following distance. Answer. C. Increase your following distance. This gives you more time to react and encourages the tailgater to pass. Question 26. When should you use your high beams? A. In foggy conditions. B. In city traffic. C. On open highways or in rural areas. 
Answer, C. On open highways or in rural areas. High beams can help you see further, but should be dimmed for oncoming traffic. Question 27. What is the main purpose of a retarder? A. To increase speed. B. To reduce brake wear. C. To improve fuel efficiency. Answer. B. To reduce brake wear. Retarders help slow a vehicle, reducing the need for brakes. Question 28. What should you do if your vehicle starts to skid? A. Turn in the opposite direction of the skid. B. Brake hard. C. Turn in the direction you want to go. Answer. C. Turn in the direction you want to go. This can help you regain control. Question 29. What is the most common reason for vehicle fires? A. Electrical issues. B. Collisions. C. Underinflated tires. Answer. C. Underinflated tires. They can heat up and catch fire. Question 30. What is the best way to prevent fatigue? A. Drink coffee. B. Take short breaks during long trips. C. Listen to loud music. Answer. B. Take short breaks during long trips. Regular rest stops can help you stay alert. Question 31. What is the main hazard of driving in strong winds? A. Reduced visibility. B. Vehicle being blown off course. C. Reduced fuel efficiency. Answer. B. Vehicle being blown off course, especially for high-profile vehicles, wind can push them into another lane. Question 32. What should you do if you encounter a vehicle driving the wrong way on a one-way street? A. Flash your lights. B. Onk your horn. C. Slow down, move to the right, and stop. Answer. C. Slow down, move to the right, and stop. It's important to avoid a head-on collision. Question 33. What is the best way to handle a tire blowout? A. Brake immediately. B. Steer straight and slow down gradually. C. Accelerate. Answer. B. Steer straight and slow down gradually. Sudden maneuvers can cause a loss of control. Question 34. What is the main purpose of the air compressor in an air brake system? A. To release air pressure. B. To build up and maintain air pressure. C. To cool the air. Answer. B. To build up and maintain air pressure. The compressor ensures there's enough air for the brakes to function. Question 35. What is the most important hand signal to know? A. Left turn. B. Right turn. C. Stop. Answer. C. Stop. While all hand signals are important, indicating a stop is crucial for safety. Question 36. What is the best way to handle a curve? A. Accelerate into the curve. B. Brake during the curve. C. Slow down before the curve. Answer. C. Slow down before the curve. This ensures you maintain control throughout. Question 37. What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? A. Accelerate. B. Brake hard. C. Keep a steady speed and steer straight. Answer. C. Keep a steady speed and steer straight. Avoid sudden maneuvers. Question 38. What is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? A. Never use the brake pedal. B. Brake as hard as possible. C. Do not lock the wheels. Answer. C. Do not lock the wheels. Locked wheels can lead to a skid. Question 39. What is the main reason for having a following distance? A. To give you time to react. B. To save fuel. C. To avoid traffic tickets. Answer. A. To give you time to react. A safe following distance ensures you have time to stop if needed. Question 40. What is the most common reason for skids? 
A. Mechanical failure. B. Weather conditions. C. Driver error. Answer. C. Driver error. Most skids are caused by driving too fast for conditions. Question 41. What should you do if you miss your exit on a freeway? A. Reverse. B. Stop and turn around. C. Continue to the next exit. Answer. C. Continue to the next exit. It's safer to proceed and find an alternate route. Question 42. What is the most important thing to check if you are going to transport hazardous materials? A. The weather forecast. B. The route. C. The vehicle's weight. Answer. B. The route. Some routes may be restricted for hazardous materials. Question 43. What is the main purpose of the exhaust system? A. To reduce engine noise. B. To filter out pollutants. C. To cool the engine. Answer. B. To filter out pollutants. The exhaust system helps reduce emissions. Question 44. What is the best way to handle a downgrade? A. Accelerate. B. Use a lower gear. C. Use the brakes only. Answer. B. Use a lower gear. Engine braking can help control speed on downgrades. Question 45. What is the most important thing to remember about using mirrors? A. They eliminate all blind spots. B. They should be checked regularly. C. They are optional. Answer. B. They should be checked regularly. Regular mirror checks help maintain awareness of your surroundings. Question 46. What is the most important thing to remember about using turn signals? A. They are optional. B. They should be used only at night. C. They should be used to indicate your intentions. Answer. C. They should be used to indicate your intentions. Signals communicate your actions to other drivers. Question 47. What is the main hazard of driving in rain? A. Reduced visibility. B. Reduced traction. C. Increased fuel consumption. Answer. B. Reduced traction. Wet roads can be slippery. Question 48. What should you do if you encounter a dust storm while driving? A. Speed up to get out of it. B. Turn on your high beams. C. Pull over and wait it out. Answer. C. Pull over and wait it out. Dust storms can severely reduce visibility. Question 49. What is the most important thing to remember about using your corn? A. It should be used regularly. B. It should be used to express frustration. C. It should be used to warn others. Answer. C. It should be used to warn others. The horn is a safety tool, not an expression of emotion. Question 50. What is the main reason for doing a pre-trip inspection? A. To avoid fines. B. To ensure the vehicle is safe to drive. C. To save time later. Answer. B. To ensure the vehicle is safe to drive. Inspections help identify potential issues before they become hazards. 